You're tuned in with 2020 Entertainment Behind the Artist, and I'm Khalil Devon. I can't wait until the day we all get rich. Baby, I don't even really wanna argue with you. But we all get bitches, and we all that nigga. If you wanna call that nigga, go and call that nigga. We make hard decisions. Shit, I grew up in University Park, Illinois. That's a uh, south suburb, really the end of the burbs. Um, growing up, shit, it was decent, you feel me? OG, OG took care of us, you feel me? She did everything that she had to do, you feel me? Uh, around UP, shit, it was cool, shit. But badass kids, man, that's, that's just how I grew up, man. Being a badass kid, like everybody did, shit, most of us, you feel me? Shit, but it was cool growing up, shit. Uh, I started making music around the age of nine. I like to say I was writing around nine. Then around like 12, shit, I had my OG take me to Best Buy one day. Shit, I come out with a mic, she like, what the fuck is that? I said, mic. On um, bro, 12, I started recording, you feel me? Then, ever yeah, since then, it's been up, shit. But what really inspired me to become an artist, um, I felt like shit, that was, uh, that was a way to express myself, you feel me? That was, um, a way to uh, get whatever I had on my head off of my head. Shit, just put that shit on paper. You know, back then we was writing on paper. Shit, that was just my way to escape. Like shit, my my relief, my stress relief. So that's definitely what inspired me to become an artist. Uh, my biggest obstacles as an artist right now would definitely be my reach. You feel me? Like. You need a team for this shit, you feel me? And I got a team, but it's like, you need motherfuckers that has their specific positions, you feel me? And, and motherfuckers gotta be on point. They gotta, everybody gotta really believe that shit. So I need, I need that, that, that team, that strong backbone behind me type shit. I feel like that's what I need. And, my reach, man. When motherfuckers hear the shit that I got going on, like if I just got that reach, man. Boys fuck it up. That's that's my obstacle right there, man. That's the only thing that's holding me back as an artist, I believe. As far as how far I wanna go with this shit, man, look. So I need a motherfucking platinum record, man. And it ain't stopping when I hit that bitch, man. Like, I feel like my sound is just so different and I got just something different to offer, man. I definitely wanna uh, be a motherfucker that create a way, shit. Like, it ain't even that I wanna be a motherfucker that create a way, but I got my way. And I'm trying to rock this bitch with my shit, so. That's definitely uh, how far I wanna go, man. I need that platinum. See. Now, this is a really good fucking question, I ain't gonna lie. If there's one thing that I could change about the music industry, like, I'll bring back, like, how this shit structured, man. Like, at this point, you can't even get no decent little deal if you ain't got 50,000 followers on the ground, you feel me? And even if you do that, niggas be weak as hell, like, I'll bring the substance back to this shit, man. Like, it's, it's no, su I wouldn't say it's no substance, but a lot of motherfuckers lack that shit, man. And they music, and I don't wanna hear that shit. Like, that's what I change in this shit, man. So, my three favorite artists right now, and just Pig, right now would definitely have to be Major Nine. I'm fucking with that nigga, he be talking for sure. Um, I feel like me and him, we kind of like got the same lane type shit. Like we going for shit with women and shit, you know. I fuck with that shit. He got a he got a nice ass sound, shit. Um, motherfucking my my top two overall would definitely have to be Cole. Like that's the most influential artist for sure. That uh, 
that inspired me. I ain't gonna lie, cold shit. I've been fucking cold since this underground shit, for sure. Um, and then third one. Third one, low key be hard. That shit be crazy. Be harder than fuck first and second. But it would definitely have to be Wayne. I ain't gonna lie, like that 08 Wayne, <laughs> that 09 Wayne, you feel me? That no selling shit, the Carter, one and two, three, three. <laughs> you feel me? Like, man, definitely. Shit, those are my top three shit artists. Hey, mama told me slow down. Living too fast, but I don't see no other options, so it's really that. This a new job. I just pray that it blasts. He locked in with both, ain't talking money, can't conversate. She gripping on my belt, she said she wants some dick gondola. I'll pay up on my collar, just a sack. I brought the band, we be talking straight.